Ten man Dundalk valiantly defend their first half lead to win 1 0 against Shamrock Rovers at Oriel Park this evening. Hayden Muller's strike was the difference between the two sides as the Lily Whites progressed to the second round of the FAI Cup. Paul Doyle's two first half yellow cards put Stephen O'Donnell's men under serious pressure for the second half, but the ten men of Dundalk held on for the win. Rory Gaffney started the game up front for Shamrock Rovers but was forced off after just four minutes in the first half, being replaced by Johnny Kenny. And it was Kenny who had the best chances of the opening 20 minutes of the game, one after the other. Graham Burke released the pacey striker in behind the, Dun the Dundalk backline. Kenny, seeing Nathan Shepard rushing out, decided to lob the Dundalk keeper, but his shot struck the crossbar. With the ball still in play, Kenny headed the ball over the bar with the goal at his mercy. Minutes later, Robbie McCourt and Johannes Lee Coco, Lee Coco uh, linked up well to send McCourt through but his shot was saved by Alan Manis. Dundalk would take the lead from the resulting corner thanks to Hayden Muller. Rhino Kane's delivery ended up at his feet, and Muller, who reacted brilliantly, striked past Manis to make, to make it 1-0. Dundalk looked more dangerous after the goal, but when Paul Doyle seemed to commit a cynical foul in the middle of the park after already being booked, the Dundalk midfielder was shown a second yellow and Dundalk were forced to play over an error a man down. The home side ran in at halftime to rapturous applause from the Dundalk fans who feel like they hadn't got the rub of the green in the first half from the referee. Shamrock Rovers thought they had scored in the second half when Sean Hoare headed the ball onto the post to come back to Lee Grace in the six-yard box, but the centre-back's header was miraculously saved by Shepard to keep, to keep his side ahead. The Dundalk crowd was trying to make up for the man deficit, cheering every Rovers attack, every misplaced pass, from the opposition, and most importantly, every positive action from Dundalk. Although being penned back for much of the second half, Dundalk weathered the Rovers' attacks with the home side lacking, or with the away side lacking quality with their final ball. Dundalk entered the second round of the FAI Cup with the draw scheduled for Tuesday next week.